Ford's smallest hatchback gets new styling and new tech. Let's take a look at the 2014 Ford Fiesta. In 2011, Ford gave us the Fiesta model, a subcompact it had sold around the world since the mid-70s. Now for 2014, we get an update. It's mostly styling, tech in the cabin, not so much under the hood. For styling, they've added this larger front grille. This is a lot bigger than on the previous generation, and you can see it has very similar features to what you get on the Fusion and the Focus. This grille gives them a common design language among their sedans and hatchbacks. You see these big headlights lead out to the grille, and this kind of big mouth effect here. And going back, this car is definitely less curvy than the previous generation. Now, this is the hatchback model. You can also get this in a sedan, but I like the hatchback a lot better. It looks a lot cooler, and it's much more practical. Now, when I lift up the hatchback here, I've got a little bit of space here. Remember, this is a subcompact, so lifting up the back, there's room for a few groceries back here, but I can also throw down the rear seats back here, and that gives me a lot more space. I could probably make an Ikea run or something like that. Definitely fit a week's worth of groceries back here. Now let's go uh, under the hood and check the engine. This engine carries over from the previous model. It's a 1.6 liter four cylinder, puts out only 120 horsepower, 112 pound feet of torque. It's not all that special. All it's got is variable valve timing, not much else, but it gets this car 27 miles per gallon in city, 38 miles per gallon highway. Now the more exciting news is that early next year, Ford's gonna come out with their one liter EcoBoost engine in the Fiesta. That's gonna be a one liter three cylinder engine, and it's gonna put out 123 horsepower and 148 pound feet of torque. That's lower displacement, but a lot more power than this engine. How do they do it? Direct injection and turbocharging. Now here on the dashboard, you see something you didn't see in the old generation of the Fiesta. We have this big old pod up here. This is a 6.5 inch touchscreen. That's got the My Ford Touch system on it. That's what Ford calls their in-car cabin tech interface. In this titanium trim model, that's standard. We also have a Sony audio system. You'd know that by the stereo interface here. That's kind of unique to the Sony system. You see that on some of the other cars too, the Fusion and the Focus. They have a similar thing if you get the titanium trim. This Sony audio system has about eight speakers and it sounds pretty good. The navigation system is my least favorite part of my Ford Touch. It doesn't work very well. This, this actually resides on an SD card in the console here. It's a $795 option, and the problem with it is it renders kind of slowly. I can see the map fill in as I'm driving, which you don't really get with other systems. Other systems use something called dead reckoning, where they fill in some of this information with your vehicle speed. They know what road you're on, so they kind of assume where you are. This one, because it completely freezes inside a tunnel or something like that, if there's an intersection in there, it'll completely lose you and it won't be able to tell you where you need to go. But voice command also works with this system and it actually works really well. That's, that's again one of the best parts of this car, is if I want to put in an address, I can say the entire string. I can say the number, the street, and the city all in one string. I don't have to put it in separate buckets like in other systems. So this is a pretty advanced system as far as voice command goes. Problem is it just does not process too quickly. Of course, the biggest problem with my Ford Touch is that you can't get Sync AppLink and my Ford Touch in the same car. AppLink is Ford's app integration system. It integrates various app features into the interface so that they're easy to use while you're driving. And one thing they actually have is Scout Navigation. That's an app you can integrate to get a rudimentary navigation system kind of working with the car. You don't get the big screen, but you still get turn-by-turn -turn directions and stuff. And there's also more than 30 other apps that are integrated with AppLink. But it works really nice, and you don't get that in this version of the car with my Ford Touch. But enough about the electronics. Here we've got the shifter for the five-speed manual transmission. That's the base transmission here. I'd kind of like to see a six-speed here, but Ford only gives us five gears. The other option is a six-speed power shift automatic transmission. Both the manual and the automatic get about the same fuel economy. So that's a toss-up. I personally like the manual. It's fun to drive. Why don't we take this one on the road and check it out? All right, as you can guess with the Ford Fiesta with this 1.6 liter engine, there's not a ton of power here. Uh, you know, I can slam the accelerator and it starts to pick up, but it's a slow wind up. This isn't a turbo, it's not direct injection or anything like that, so it's just not that fast. I'm kind of surprised to find the transmission gate is really pretty sloppy. It's pretty loose and sloppy. It makes for fairly comfortable shifting, but it's just not a real precision instrument. It really puts this car in more sort of the suburban city runabout car. One thing I have found though, driving this car around some 
some mountain roads, having some fun with it. It does feel pretty responsive. It feels pretty nimble. I like that. In titanium trim, this 2014 Ford Fiesta goes for just under $20,000. That's with the $795 navigation option. But my Ford Touch comes standard in this titanium trim. I would actually take a step down to the SE model. That's $16,050 with the manual transmission. Now that you can get my Ford Touch as an option, but I would consider leaving it out because then you get Sync App Link and you can integrate that Scout Navigation app so you get navigation plus all the other apps that Ford includes with App Link. 